No drugs. Sober toys on drugs. Hi. Getting gelled, sir. Gelled right back. Two hours and counting. <laughs> Speak it to his agent. Hello. 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 <laughs> Look at that. That's what I mean. Oh, oh, you bastard! 
This is where I'll be nervous. The nerves will be going here. See you, the lads. Forty. Three Stooges. 
Look at the footy of Ollie Young, look at the piece of Ah, that's because <laughs> he only coming? sent four off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think for us, I don't want to miss these fucking instruments here. Yeah. <laughs> Get that fucking saxophone. Hey, they could have moved the crane. How do you think they're going to get that out, Paul? Eh, uh, some places, eh? Uh. Anyway, but there's no wind in there, Paul. It's a bit bobbly, though, also. Yeah, it's Yeah, it's a bit bobbly. Hit the wrong bounce. Oh, no. Where is he going? It's <laughs> done. It's bit warm. A bit warm, eh? Scott Joe. Scott Joe. There's the two Scottish centre halves for the future, with a little goalkeeper in the middle. BP Youth Cup holder. Obviously in charge of the kit today and everything. <laughs> this chick not wearing his green suit as usual. We guys. Fisty. Sign this for you. Yeah. Film me signing that. Because I've never been on the phone. The last signature for Hearts, Neil Pointer. Before you leave. Thanks for the mention, yes, you guys. I didn't say thanks, pal. See? Cheers, bud. You'll get me a club anyway. Here he is, back home. How's the media star here? Back home. <laughs> <laughs> DVBL, Scotland Internationalist, looking absolutely cool as a cucumber. Look at that. Ace. Sidekick, PR. Chucky, where will we be? Zoom um, in. <laughs> at the how's the zoom in button? Hey. Uh, would I press that? No, no, no. no, oh, no. no. You just can get zoom in. Where will we be? Up. Zoom in, Rich. Boss, can you sign that, please? Chalky, there you go, Chan. Chalky, here, look. What is it? Wait, there we go. What, what windy would you like? Ten sponsors. Have you signed this, PL? We are Robo. Possibly his last game for the Hearts. Aye, aye, Robo! Right, that way. Okay. Time and a half. I, I'll no sleep yet, Pullman. Bet you couldn't get anybody to work on a Saturday. Look at that, eh? Didn't need a ticket. <laughs> I'm working Sunday. Saturday afternoon, love. Don't you look at me. <laughs> Time uh? and a half. He's carrying on. I never went to the game. I was grafting. <laughs> Brilliant. Where's John Justin standing? Got a pen. Where's John Justin standing? Justin stand. Wait, I went over there, was it? See, right up the back row. Very back seat. That's racist. That's where the jungle used to be. Over there. Okay. Racist. I'm not going to shout obscenities. Have a break. Jose, you look a million dollars. You think so? Yeah, trouble is you only cost 30 quid. Have a break. You the fucking kid can. Fucking call your kid can. Will you milk? Will you milk? Wait a minute. I got an injury thing now. Yeah. Amen. Just will do it again. Then just fight. Sorry. 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 Sorry.
Well, I would have fought to 25 on Rick before that comes. Yeah, it's everybody's fine. Yeah, he's done it. You finished it. That's what we're doing. We're going to warm up. 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 Yeah. They will all the jumbos will be shouting and screaming. Yeah. Tell you what, the, the little fat boy scrubs up well. Scrubs up well, the little fat boy. What will be using? jacket. <laughs> <laughs> 24 length, size five and a half shoes. <laughs> There's his next job. There's his next job, crane driver. <laughs> Sorry. Enough, please. Wow. Well. Then the coaster. The Three Stooges. Groucho. <laughs> Neil, are you going to sign this for me, please? Yeah. Tim Brooke Taylor. Charlie George. Right, and Mickey. Alf Topper. <laughs> Slum. Yes. <laughs> this will be the walk after elation or dejection. This is where the all time bollockings will be going off. I've no bollocking over, keep it going up, so we've won the cup. Ricky, what was it you? Come on! Did you meet
force down to Manchester. Sorry, and we'll have a fucking bus. I might even catch that silver bird. <laughs>
Well done. So have a good season next year. Okay, now. Come on, mate. Come on.
Jewish boy can always deliver. Yeah.
I can see that you're a bit hoarse, Gary, but you were sitting in the stand. When it went to 2-1, you must have been thinking about all the sob stories starting again. Absolutely, Gary, but I knew the boys would do it for me. And they have done that. Ah, couldn't believe it. Well, I know you're just about to have a party. Let's go speak to some of your colleagues. Come with me. Dave McPherson, you've waited a long time to do this with Hearts. How does this moment feel for you? Um, it, it seems similar at the time, but you come through Gorgia Road there, it was unbelievable. I've never experienced anything like it. Well, you wanted the culprits up on the top of the bus. I never had enough energy getting top of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> we poor lad to sit in the seats, but what, what a night, what a night, absolutely unbelievable. Tell me what this means to the club after being tagged nearly men for so long, Dave. Well, it's been so disappointing in so many occasions. Hopefully this is going to be the platform to future success for the club. And right beside you is the captain today, Stevie. Let me have a quick word with you today. Stevie, I saw you on the top of this bus. Have you had a good journey through from Glasgow? Uh, it's, been, uh, uh, it's been quite quiet, you know what I mean? Like most of the buzz on him, uh, read about and things like that. Indeed. Now, and I want you to tell me what was going through that blonded bombshell head of yours when you ran into that penalty box in 33 seconds. Yeah, let was just keep your hood down. And I, I, didn't, I didn't know. I, I thought it was going to be a free kick, and then the referee let point to the penalty spot. I mean, it was, Unbelievable, we Mickey was saying that like, he never had a touch before that, and then he was going to take like, a penalty. It was a remarkable yeah. composure from him. Yeah, the wee man, it's brand new, you know I mean? Like, he always like, we, uh, practices penalty kicks in training, that the like, wee man never misses. So, uh, we knew he was going to score. Well, you got quite the night tonight. Well, Steve, we'll let you get on and celebrate it. Thanks very much for joining Thank us. Thank you, Hazel. Let's see what else we can find. Absolute bedlam, as you can see. Mr. Weird, David, congratulations. <laughs> Fantastic achievement. How are you feeling at this oh, point? I'm excited, Hazel. It's brilliant. I mean, look at the people here. Better than the World Cup, yeah, they've David. waited an awfully long time. Yeah, they're 42 years, but I think it's going to be worth it tonight. And of course, this is the start of what could be a marvellous summer for you. It's capped the end of your season. What can Hearts hope to achieve in the future now? Where do you go from here? I, I think tonight, Hazel, we're just going to enjoy this and then we're going to take it for there. But I mean, for a young team, for the future ahead there, so I think we're going to be a successful team. Well, hopefully we'll come in and share a drink with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Thank Thanks. You. Well, as you can see, it's going to be quite a night. We may possibly join you a little later for a glass of champagne. Until then, back to you, Diggy.
on. Come on. Ready? John. As it'll ever be. <laughs> After 18 years, you've finally got a taste of what you've been missing. Well, you never know. You never miss it till you see it, and this really sums it all up. I mean, my dad was a Hearts fan. Hearts fan. He died when I was 14. He wanted one of his boys to play for Hearts. He got two. He had a love to have seen his day, and I dedicated to him. I dedicated to him. And my mother-in-law had died as well. Um, we were only two years married. Um, it's so emotional. But to all my family, my friends, my very special friends as well, who have stopped by me, this is for you. It's fucking fantastic. <laughs> Sorry, Hazel, that's the way I think, it is. I think we can bleep that. You're all right, John. <laughs> I want you to tell me where you go from here. Where do you go from here now, John? Was well, that I'm your last swear. appearance? <laughs> You're not allowed to No, swear. it wasn't my last official show. <laughs> I don't know. The manager said he'll speak to me during the week. Um, but if I go, I go on probably the greatest side anybody could ever go on. If there's an hour year or a, a month or two months, I, don't, I really don't know. I'm, and to be perfectly at this moment in time, I don't care. You said to me in Stratford this week, you thought it would be tremendously ironic if your last game was the club's most fantastic triumph for 36 years. Could you bear to leave it Hazel, under these circumstances? The last poor Robo has won. <laughs> you have. He's Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, John. The last poor Robo. Thank you very much. How are you? Enjoy it. That was really oh, emotional coming along there. Come on, come on, do this with Jim. Yeah. Do this with Jim. We've got to do this interview for you, right? Right, get in there. We're all this in the background, me and him. Yeah. Okay. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're going to be kidding me. I'm happy. Oh, you're going to be kidding me. By the way, I told you it would be the best thing in your life. I know, I know. It's and you better stay to the function. Oh, don't worry. I'm just kidding. Is, yeah, is, is, is he here? Is he here? Where is he? I don't know yet. He's somewhere there. Oh, there, right. come on. Go fast. All right, okay. Ready? All right. Okay. Anyway, this will be something. All right. Oh, I apologize now. Forget That's all right. I mean. <laughs> I don't mean anything about it, but I think you're going to be happy. Yeah, all right. That's good. Okay. Oh, you're going to be kidding me. I don't know yet. He's somewhere there. There, come on. Go fast. All right, okay. Ready? Oh, God, isn't it? I know, it's amazing. Oh, it's the last car. I know. Come on, Give me, I'm going to do this for you. I don't know, ready? Are you happy? Okay, oh, here's the script, ready? Here's oh, the I've got it done, I've got it done. Right. Here's the script. Okay. Well, so far, we have not managed to get inside the Gorgie Suite for this party. 42 years, Hazel. <laughs> but I think you're allowed to party in the street, Jim, as long as you want. Oh, big, one big street party. We've come along the last couple of miles, and uh, that's what it means to heart supporters. I mean, 42 years is a long time. And I think a lot of in Scottish people would want us to do it. I mean, it, it, I mean, Walter's tragically was ended up, you know, the last season, but he's won plenty, and I'm sure he'll know what grudge has us. In fact, he was very sporting after it, and uh, him and Archie. So that just shows you the great man he is. And I thought the Rangers supporters were absolutely magnificent. When the players went round with the supporters, they went carried it on to Rangers, and the Rangers fans were fantastic to us. I mean, they appreciated it. We've had a good season, and I don't think they denied us that. And, it, and uh, it's great credit to them that the sporting manner in which it happened. Indeed, I must I must speak to your assistant here because he's remained the quiet man in the background <laughs> always, Billy. You said to me, "We can't lose them all." You are absolutely right. Did it, was it just a question of when it was coming? Well, I think so. But Rangers are very, very difficult to beat through there, and everybody says we had a great chance, but we only had a great chance if we played like we played today. You know, and we got it right, and the boys were absolutely outstanding, and this is the result of it, and it's absolutely fantastic, and we can do it again. You didn't do it the easy way with ten minutes to go, may I say? No, well, I thought the referee had given a penalty, but to be fair, I mean, stood his ground, and, uh, you know, we didn't lose a penalty, so, great. It's fantastic this season. It certainly is. And the manager has just said to me that he will be able to buy me that glass of champagne later on, so I'm going to take him off on his offer this time. Well, I'll be free champagne. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>